Hello folks, Fuzz here, welcome to today's stream and we are continuing with Final Fantasy X here on the PS4. So just to confirm guys, for those watching this later on, or whatever the case may be, that this is more of a laid back approach to the game. I have already done a walkthrough for Final Fantasy X, which you can find on my channel. So I just like to use these streams as an opportunity to, you know, play some games, to chill with you guys and not to take things too seriously. That doesn't mean that we're going to just be racing our way through, missing loads of stuff or anything. I do still want to aim to get everything, at least where possible. Hello, Fran. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Uh, but that said, uh, it's also probably not going to be the best series to watch if you want a dedicated walkthrough. I would advise checking my other series for that. But I can see a few people are just starting to come on and join us. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We made our way through the Kilika Woods in the last live stream. And we took on a couple of bosses as well. So we do have the joys of the Cloister of Trials to start us off with today. Hopefully we'll get through it uh, without too much of a headache. Although it can be a bit of a nightmare, especially when I'm trying to concentrate on doing that and also keep you guys entertained at the same time as well. So then folks, let's move on up, shall we, and watch the cutscenes, and then people can join us as well during this time if they want to do so. I don't think there's anything to grab in terms of items around here. So we'll just head up the stairs. And I'm pretty ah. sure, going from memory, we have to speak to Waka. So, uh, they got fiends in Zanakan too? Just a few. It's a big deal when one shows up, though. Uh, hey, since when have you believed me about Zanarkin anyway? I've been thinking. Maybe people Sin gets to don't die. Maybe Sin carries them through time, like a thousand years through time. And then one day, maybe they just pop back, see? Amazing. Simply amazing. Hmm? You make up one theory after another, refusing to face the simple truth. Sin didn't take Chapu anywhere. Sin crushed him and left him on the Jose shore. Your brother won't just pop back. Oh, and one more thing. No matter how much you want it, no one can take Chapu's place. No one can replace Sir Jack, for that matter. And there's no replacement for Lord Braska either. It's pointless to think about it. And sad. I... I could never be what Chapu was. Well, stuff happens. Best not to worry. Waka, Lulu, and Waka's brother, Chapu. Something had happened between them a long time ago. I was sure of it. Well, whatever it was, it was none of my business, that's for sure. Best not to go there. Right, okay, also during the cutscenes I won't be talking a whole lot today because I'm having to do other things as well at the same time as playing. So I'm going to use those as an opportunity to get stuff done uh, for work and what have you, messaging people and stuff. But that shouldn't interfere with the stream as a whole. You here to pray for victory too? Us? Pray? Who needs to pray? The Luca goers always win. Oh yeah? Then why are you here? We've been praying for some competition this year. So what's your goal this time? You gonna do your best again? Ha! It's too bad your best isn't good enough. Why even bother showing up? This time, we play to win. Hmm. Ooh, play away. Just remember, even kids can play, boys. See you in the finals! Oh, that reminds me, we're getting ever so close now to we'll the Blitzball done. game. We have to. The one Blitzball game that you we have to play too. as part of the we story progression. Down. 
And it's actually, in my opinion, perhaps the hardly split sport game that you engage in. Well, not my ject. Even ten years after he left, just thinking about my old man got me angry. <laughs> but maybe that was just my way of keeping him... Nah. Yeah, when you uh, actually go ahead and start doing lots of Blitzball to work towards the items such as Waka's weapon, for example, then it's actually fairly easy. It's a fun game, don't get me wrong, but it's not hard. Uh, however, when you're uh, doing that uh, obligatory Blitzball game, then I don't actually know if I've won it. I think I must have done it at least once. I can't remember. I have to check back on my walkthrough series to see if I won the game in that playthrough. But anyway, uh, where were we? Yes, hello, Wes. Hey, thanks for joining us. Good afternoon to you. How are you doing? Good to see you. And welcome to those that have uh, joined us as well over the last few minutes. We've only just got started here, really. But uh, I have got to go through the Kilika Cloister of Trials. Although, in all fairness, the Cloister of Trials aren't that bad. Uh, you do have to get the optional items, mind, because otherwise you miss out on uh, an Aeon later on. However, the only one that's really bad is the... Uh, uh, what's it called? It begins with a B. It's completely slipped my mind. Anyway... Uh, there's one of them that's really annoying, but we won't have to worry about that until a lot later. So just check there's nothing else to do around here. I don't think there is. We can head straight down into the cloister and see what's going on. Go ahead and actually before we do anything, I'm gonna go and speak to Waka. Lord O'Holland, guide our feet. I was hoping to stream the last couple of days as well, but I've just not actually had any chance to do so unfortunately. A summoner, are you? So I've been looking forward to uh, getting into the game again today. Oh, Corona, welcome, My dude. Name is ah, that's no problem. Donna. Thanks for joining so, us. Your high summon Nebraska's daughter. That's quite a name to live up to. My, my, my. And all these people are your guardians? <laughs> my, what a rabble. As I recall, Lord Braska had only two guardians. Quality over quantity, my dear. <laughs> Whatever were you thinking? I have need of only one guardian. Right, Bartello? I only have as many guardians as there are people I can trust. I trust them all with my life. That dude, Bartello, he looks so angry. Did you see that face? And an honor. Even more so yeah, no problem, all, Corona. It's good to have you here. Of course. I would never think of questioning your ways either. So, Lady Donna, I ask of you, please leave us in peace. You do what you want, Bartella, we're leaving. Hi, <sighs> David. Good afternoon to you. How are you? A guardian is someone a summoner can rely on. Someone she can trust with her life. I wondered... Did Yuna feel that way about me? What she's no. smiling about? Wes, uh, you might be referring to the fact that I said one of them was difficult. I can't remember if you were here when I said that or not. It's not be saved, I don't think. Because that's the first one, isn't it? No, it's one that comes later. Bavel, I think it's called Bavel. But this one where I am now is uh, Kilika. Hello, Billings. Yeah, I'm doing great, thanks. How are you? It's a nice sunny day here in the UK. We've had a good couple of weeks, actually. I was hoping to stream yesterday and the day before. Oh, did I stream the day before yesterday? I can't remember. But I've been so busy the past couple of days. This is the first chance I've had to get back on stream. Uh, mostly because of just doing work stuff. So I'm looking forward to getting into it today. Despite the fact that the trials aren't the... Uh, <laughs> the, the, the most fun thing for me to try and do live. I will have to say that. Because they do require an ample amount of concentration. But we'll see how we get on here. 
Yeah, I'm good, thanks, David. And that's good to hear. So we can head in now. And this is where the lift picks us up, isn't it? The faith is below. Let's do it. The faith? But first, the Cloister of Trials. Yeah, it's been a few years for me as well, Wes. I think the last time I played Final Fantasy X, in fact, I know, was when I did my walkthrough for YouTube. And I think that was 2014. Maybe even 2013. So it's been a good four or five years. Hey, what gives? You're not a guardian yet. Um, we'll be back as soon as we can, okay? Oh, sure. Soon. Like, tomorrow soon, I bet. Right, so now we just have to wait, I think. Oh, it's raining, is it? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm making the most of the sun while it lasts. Where's you not? Yeah, that would be pretty awesome, uh, Hulk Corona. Do Final Fantasy XII have those? Here? I can't remember, you know. Hey, I'm not a guardian, I don't know so if I noticed if it did or not the last time I played. Hmm. I'm just thinking because not Final Fantasy X is a PS2 game originally. Hey, wait! <laughs> Let me go! <laughs> What's a big idea? Just a little game. Huh? This is bad. Really bad. Well, here we are. Let's see how we get on with this place, shall we? Only guardians allowed. I'm sure no guardian. Well, I guess it's too late now. Getting through the cloisters as part of the story is not too bad, the trials rather. But it's making sure you get the optional item from each trial because I did mention a few minutes ago, if you don't get all of them, then there's an Aeon, I think it's Anima. Could be wrong on which one, but I think it's Anima that you lock yourself away from getting. So it is important to get them all done. Uh, I've not thought about that actually, Wes. Dragon's Crown Pro, I'm not sure if I've come across that to be honest with you. I'm a little bit behind in terms of the latest releases. To tell you the truth, Wes, just because I've not been keeping up with things as I perhaps should have been. But is that something worth looking into, would you say? Anyway, let's grab the uh, Flame Sphere here. Or the Kilika Sphere. Can we move yet? No. Oh. Uh. Oh yeah, are you playing on PC, aren't you, Hulk Roni? Is that right? Yeah, Chapter 3 is when it all really opens up, I find. There's so much optional side quest content to do from Chapter 3. Just make sure you get Chocobos unlocked as soon as possible by doing the Behemoth Undertaking quest. If you haven't already, of course. Hello, Creed. Welcome. Yes, yes, I'm planning on it, Creed. I do want to get all the optional stuff from these trials so that we can make sure we unlock all the Aeons. Uh, Fern Gully, yes, definitely. Yeah, if you want to follow like a walkthrough, I'd recommend the one I did a few years ago that's up on the channel for this game. That is the last time I played Final Fantasy X. This is definitely more of a blind playthrough than anything. So far more casual and laid back. Yeah, I would recommend the other guide for that. This is just more for a chilling session really with you guys on live stream more than anything nope 
that's what we want to do, yeah. That should put it out completely, it has. Uh, sorry, Hulkaroni, I missed that, dude. Yeah, that's the problem, Wes. One thing I noticed myself is that my trophies carried over from the PS3 version, which annoyed me, because I was hoping to uh, start them again, but yeah, you're right on that. I don't know why it works like that, but it does. Yeah, I'm playing God of, uh, God of War at the moment, Billings. Um, sorry, Billings, minimum. Oh, I'm not with it fully today, I've got to be honest. Yeah, I am playing God of War. I've uh, really enjoyed it so far. I've got about 25 hours into it at the moment. So, hey Creed, thank you for sharing that. That's uh, no problem at all. I'm glad that helped you. Yeah, a lot of people that are using or watching videos on my channel found out about it from that Final Fantasy XII playthrough. So I'm very grateful for it. And no, it's been great to help people. Oh yeah, keep working at that, Wes. You'll get there, dude. Yeah, I've managed to pay my credit card off uh, after having it in debt for a couple of years, so I'm happy about that. It's always a good feeling not to have to worry about things like that, isn't it, once you finally get it sorted. Oh, right, I see, Hulkarone. Right, we've got fire everywhere here. This is a very fiery trial, isn't it? And sorry for being a little bit quiet at the moment, guys, but I am just trying to concentrate as well as uh, chatting to you folks just while we go through the trials here. Ah, oh, well done, Billings. Yeah, I'm slacking a little bit with Platinums, to be honest with you. Uh, I never really went for trophies all that much with many games in the past, but I have started to do so more recently, which is good. It's always fun to get a Platinum, isn't it? And some games are definitely out of my reach, like Star Ocean 4, I'm doing a walkthrough for it at the moment. I can almost guarantee I won't be getting the Platinum for that one anytime soon, unfortunately. But, maybe one day. Anyway, where are we? Okay, let's take this one. Well, I think I've got this right so far. And now we want to take the uh, sphere out of here. There we go, glyph sphere. <laughs> I think when you get an evolve for the billings minimum, you want to <laughs> keep up the progress then, don't you, and keep getting them. Yeah, it does kind of suck ways, doesn't it, having to pay off your debts. Oh, thank you, Andre. And thanks for stopping by to share your feedback. Appreciate that. Right then, uh, what, what is it we've just done? We've just put the glyph sphere. I have got a couple of notes that I jotted down before starting, just so we can try and make the trials a little bit smoother than on the last live stream, or a couple of live streams ago when we did the Bisset trials. We were stuck in there for a little bit longer than needed to be, but we did get everything done uh, in the end, didn't we? And now we want to put one of these into the cent into the pedestal. think.
We want to try and push this one into the next room if we can. Yeah, you do, don't you? I mean, you paid for the game. Although, to tell you the truth, I've paid for a lot of games that I haven't actually really played all that much of. I've got uh, so many games in my back catalogue, as I call it, that I need to sort out and get through. Uh, the sparkly thing on the floor, I haven't quite got there yet, Wes. But we'll find out soon. No, I'm trying to get this over into the room, but I can't quite line T this up here. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. It might be for the destruction sphere, Wes. I've got it on my notes here. We'll check it out soon. In fact, it's where we're going to put this pedestal. So we'll just push it to the top here, I think. And again to the right. And then up finally. There we go. See, now we've destroyed part of the floor or something, which is... Uh, Useful, I hope. <laughs> I'm pretty sure these things look like they should burn your hand or something, don't they? I mean, they are causing all manner of fire to go everywhere, but Tidus seems uh, happy enough just to plunge his arm in and and grab hold of it without too much of a care in the world. Shit, there's nothing secret around here, no. Yeah, I think I've probably got about a similar amount of games in my backlog as well, to be honest with you. Uh, I keep meaning to get to many of them, but... I want to play I Am Set Sooner. I've got that on my Steam list. A traditional Japanese role-playing game. But as of right now, I just don't know when I'm going to get to it, to tell you the truth. Right, we should be able to get the Destruction Sphere now, I believe. Yep, this should be the one. So this is where we can get the optional item. And that should, theoretically, give us a chest. Yes. Oh, you've got the platinum for that, have you, Billings? Oh, I might have to get it, actually, on PS4 before I play it. It'd be too late to get a refund on the PC version, which is the one I've got. Uh, but I can get the platinum then. I don't know why I got it on Steam. I probably should have got it on PS4, since that's where I'm generally collecting trophies and stuff, to tell you the truth. Right, let's go and grab another sphere. Hi, oh, Thunder King. Welcome, mate. How are you? How did you find the game, Billings? I've heard mixed things about it, which is why I think I haven't rushed to play it yet. I've heard there's a few issues with it that makes it a little bit frustrating, but I'm still looking forward to it because I like the traditional Japanese role-playing genre. So, yeah, it has a bit, Thunder King, but it's good to have you here, dude. Right, so should be somewhere to place the sphere. Yep, there it is. And then we have to jot it out in order to get the uh, passage to be completely open. And we're done. So we can actually put the sphere down somewhere in another recess. But it makes me think though, if we take it with us, can nobody else complete this set of trials in the future? Because we've stolen the sphere. 
Who knows? Hey, that's good to hear, Thunder King. Yeah, thank you, Hulkarone. It wasn't too bad, that one, actually. I think it was easier than the last one. We were stuck there for a while. Uh, what consequences? She could be excommunicated. Right, so I just want to chat to people here, I think. So what's in there anyway? The faith, remember? Oh yeah, that thing, right. The faith are people who gave their lives to battle sin. <laughs> Yevon took their souls, willingly given from their still living bodies. Huh? Now they live forever, trapped in statues. But when a summoner beckons, the souls of the faith emerge once again. That's what we call an Aeon. <laughs> All that in this room? So, so, what's Yuna doing in there? She prays with all her heart for a way to defeat Sin. The chamber beyond is a sacred place. Only summoners may enter. What? Even Guardians can't go? It's taboo! Oh. With the I Am Set Sooner billings, can you get the Platinum on a single playthrough? And are there any missable trophies that you know of? I mean, if you can't remember, don't worry about it. But I was just wondering, more than anything. <gasps> hey, Tidus has a penchant for... Uh, Getting punched in the face by the looks of things. <gasps> anyway, I'll save him from any more abuse there. Hi, Nicole. Hey, welcome. Thanks for joining us. There was something I didn't tell anyone else that day. That How are you, Nicole? Heard there in the temple, I knew it from my childhood. It was proof that Spira and Xanarkin were connected somehow. At least to me it was. Maybe that's why suddenly I felt like I just wanted to go home. I tried to say something to tell them, but the words wouldn't come. Right, so we should get a new summon now. There we go. And it's Ifrit. And I do like Ifrit. A Final Fantasy staple, of course. Oh, hey, welcome. Uh, yeah, you can see a few more people have joined, so welcome, guys. Thanks for stopping by on the stream. Final Fantasy X once more. More of a laid-back approach to the game, though, as opposed to a uh, for me. deadly serious playthrough. But I would like to try and get everything done, if possible. But they were there, and they grew inside me bigger and bigger. I was just about ready to Yeah, burst. I think it's important, isn't it, Billings? It's annoying otherwise if you have to start the game again for a trophy that you could have got. Are, are you okay? I... <sighs> Brilliant, Nicole. I Brilliant. Know. What do you want to do? To scream real loud? <laughs> Yeah, it looks like everyone's backed away from T just there. Don't blame them. Uh, let's just head back up just to save our game before we progress any further. So soon we'll be back on the boat and we'll be able to learn the jet shot. Oh, I'm very excited for that cutscene, David. <laughs> Probably detect some sarcasm there. No, I hate that bit. 
It's just cringeworthy. But at least I can actually laugh at it now. Because it's become quite a popular, uh, you know, section of the game, hasn't it? In terms of the fact that it is just so bad, that bit. So it's funny, perhaps, for the wrong reasons. <laughs> Hello, Elias. Good afternoon to you. Yeah, I'm doing well, thanks. How are you doing, mate? It's good to have you. I've already spent all the sphere ability point thingies that we've been collecting. These things are actually quite nasty, and they have like over 700 health points. Hi, oh, Chocobo Breeder. Thanks for joining us. Has everyone been having a good week, have they? Yeah, it's always cool to chat up. Uh, to chat up. That doesn't sound right, does it? To catch up with you guys in chat is what I was intending to say. Uh, which game's that, Fern Gully? Is that Final Fantasy XV? We were talking about that a moment ago. Or are you talking about Final Fantasy X? There's not really chapters in Final Fantasy X. Oh, brilliant, Elias. You've been up to anything interesting today? Uh... It is quite important to grind, I find, in Final Fantasy X, Fern uh, uh, Yeah, Final Fantasy X, that's what you said, yeah. Uh, yeah, I do find it quite important to grind, but it's not absolutely essential. Although I tend to like to play it safe a little bit and have, you know, a few extra stats than is absolutely needed. Oh, that's good to know then, Billings. And is there a platinum for that game as well, is there? Off to Luca at last. The matches start soon as we get there, so rest up on the way, yeah? Oh, thank you, Elias. Thank you very much. Right, so this is where we go back on the ship, isn't it? Okay, I've got to remember to get the jet shot. A few people were worried that I'd missed it the last time we were on the boat, but this is the time when we get it. Is that Crash Bandicoot you're playing, Nicole? Yeah, God of War, I would recommend that. I haven't completed it myself yet. I know a couple of people have mentioned in chat they've got the Platinum already. Yeah, I don't know why there's no Platinum for Sonic Mania, Billings. So I was really disappointed to see that, to tell you the truth. Because I love the uh, old classic Sonic games. Something else I'd really like to see is Sonic 3 and Knuckles coming to the PS4, perhaps with a Platinum trophy as well. I loved that game. Back on the Mega Drive slash Genesis. But I'm excited to see what's coming out for Sonic Mania this year. Because there's a few DLCs or something coming with new characters and some new content and stuff. So, be interesting to see what happens. Anyway, uh, we grabbed the high potion, yep. Yeah. And we want to try and give some money to Awaka if we can. 
They ask a fortune for rags in Bisay and Kilika. Well, me business is in. Shambles. I still haven't played the demo for that, Elias. Uh, is that out now? Is it? Or is it next week? I know it's soon if it's not already. Maybe it's June. But I have watched the video for it. I think you linked it to me. It was like a 30 minute video or something of the demo. And it looked amazing, it really did. Right, how much have I given him? Three, uh, total 100. Let's give him a bit, a bit more for now. No. No sweat. That's what I want to choose. That I will. Oh, I haven't really played the Resident Evil games all that much. Not recently, anyway, Billings. Oh, you Peter. Welcome. Uh, do you know that once you get the first sphere in Lake Macalena, you can double back all the way to be saved and get the other spheres for all under overdrive? Uh, I didn't remember that off the top of my head, actually, Peter. So, no, I appreciate that. I uh, could certainly do that, actually. Although, I'm still a ways away from uh, Macalania at the moment, to tell you the truth. Well, it's important to save here, because I do not want to... And I'll just save, so I don't need to save again. Miss out on the uh, jet, jet shot, isn't it, which we can get. On this particular visit here to the SS... What is this one? The SS Wino or Wino or something, isn't it? What y'all talking about? Who are you supposed to be? Ah, I remember him. Guy from Kilika. Huh? You know, one of the Besaid Aurochs said something about winning the cup. Oh, right. You're that idiot. Don't call him that. But he is an idiot. They don't got what it takes to win the cup. Hello, Abhijit. do now that I'm here? Yes, they will win. Thanks for joining us, dude. To be the star player of the Zanarkand Abes. Long time no speak to you, mate. How are you? The Predator, yeah. yeah. Elias. I'm a big fan, actually, of the Predator it's movies. A uh, especially the first there Predator is. with Arnie. Uh, I, uh, got the second one was pretty good there. as well. I liked the way it was different to the there first. I don't remember the more recent Predator film with Adrian Brody. Right. Whatever your ladyship I says. had seen it, but I don't remember it all that well. But yeah, I'm looking forward to the new one. Xenoblade Chronicles X is also a fantastic game. Not one I can play on live stream, unfortunately, because of it being Nintendo. Yeah, they are a bit, aren't they, Billings? Competitive, some would say. <laughs> Right, there's somewhere around here there is an Albed Primer, but I might already have had it. Oh. I'm not going over there just yet. Let's head up here. Well, say something. You'll take responsibility. Relax, he's bound to know someone in Luca. And if not? He could always join a Blitz team. Anyhow, it's better than just leaving him in be saved. What? Just leaving him in Luke? Yeah, no problem, Abhijit. What do you want me to do? You got you stuff to do in life, I'm sure, as well, mate. Oh, yeah, jeez. There's that too, eh? And whose fault is that? Not mine. It is mine, huh? <laughs> Why do you think she wants to make him a guardian anyway? Because he's Sir Jack's son. All right. Wait, you sure about that? He's really Sir Jack's son. It's hard to say, but Yuna seems to believe so. Okay. Okay? Okay. That's all you have to say? Well, yeah, I mean, he's got to So I'm just going to go through some of this dialogue here. Uh, so we've done everything we need you, to do. And then I'm going to go and save again. And we'll try and get the Jack shot. <laughs> I wonder which is best. 
if we get the jet shot, we might actually have a chance at the upcoming Why don't you uh, Blitzball game, which is really difficult. Because at least I find it is. Why me? Because Yuna can't. Why not? He hates his father. What he was, what he did. Do you really think she can possibly say to him, I want you to be my guardian, like your father was to mine? Aren't you being oversensitive? <sighs> all right, all right. I'll try talking to him after the tournament. Be discreet. I know. It's his decision. Any more dialogue? Yeah, there's loads. He doesn't like his father. Apparently, he told Yuna as much. Hating your own father, huh? Sounds like a luxury to me. I don't even remember my parents. Can't say how I feel about them. I... I was five then, so I remember mine a little. Damn it! Hmm? Sin just takes everything away from us. Well, yeah, I'd love the story to be good, Elias. I've heard it's a prequel, isn't it, to the more recent Predator film that came out as well. I've not played that one, Billings. Uh, I did see it. Uh, I saw videos about it, and I'm not sure why I've actually played it myself. Ah, oh, there's the Albed Primer. And the only thing I want to do is just save again. Because it can go wrong trying to learn this jet shot. And I don't want to have to go through all that dialogue if I need to reload. Okay, Billings. I'll check it out then. Maybe I'll do a couple of videos on it as well, see what people think. Right. Okay. So this is where we have to do some quick time stuff. To be honest, Peter, I have heard similar things, but I can't imagine Final Fantasy X-3 actually being a thing. I mean, when you think about the fact that the Final Fantasy VII remake uh, has been in development now for a long, long time. It's been wanted for a long, long time by the fans. And the latest is that it's probably not going to be coming until 2023. I just can't imagine Square putting a lot of focus into another Final Fantasy X game. I mean... What's going on with Final Fantasy 16? You'd have thought by now they'd have announced a new game in the franchise, but they seem so keen on uh, just supporting Final it. Fantasy 15 for the next few years the that it seems to be their main focus right now. No one else can do it. I'm the best. I've managed to avoid it all, pretty much, to be honest, Nicole. Uh, I think in London it's quite heavy. You can't really move about that place at the moment. But where I am, roughly in the centre of the country, and I live out in the sticks anyway, there's like hardly any of the people around here. Uh, it's been fairly quiet, to tell you the truth, but it's a nice day. It's nice and sunny, and it is supposed to be for the rest of the week as well. Yeah, I'm kind of sad that we haven't heard anything about a new Final Fantasy game. Don't get me wrong, I love the current Final Fantasy games we've got, and that's why I'm replaying them. And, you know, I even enjoy Final Fantasy XV. But I'd like to move on as well to something new. Right then. Okay. This is why I saved. Here we go. I did care about the remake, Billings. I was really excited. 
But since I found out, it's probably not going to be coming out for a good while now. Uh, I've kind of waned a little bit from it. I'm sure as it gets close and it starts to get hyped up, then I'll be looking forward to it a lot more as well. You can't do it, kid. I couldn't actually see any prompts or anything then. Told you you couldn't do it. I'm gonna have to uh, sort out the screen. I think. I'm gonna have to bring it up on my other monitor. Uh. Right. Let me bring this up on the other screen. So I think the chat log was actually hiding it to tell you the truth. Oh. Yeah, reset time. I couldn't see a thing. I think the uh, quick time event I had to press was loaded behind the uh, chat log more than anything. How the heck do I reload? I thought there was a reload button somewhere. Have I actually got to quit the game? That sucks if I have. Okay, let's close. That is the very reason why I saved just before we did that. I had a feeling that we'd be reloading. Yeah, I think you're right, Chocobo. I brought it up now. It's okay. I'll leave it there. Uh, the the chat window and everything. I've actually turned on my main PlayStation Four monitor, as opposed to just looking at the stream window. So I should be able to see everything more clearly on that. Yeah, I think twenty twenty three. It was either a kind of like sarcastic joke. I mean, it was a leak more than anything. It wasn't a confirmed press release. Or it was just a kind of, that is the absolute latest you can expect it type of thing. Yeah, news at E3 would be nice. Oh, was it lower left, was it? Oh, cheers, guys. I'll pay attention a bit more this time. I do not want to miss out on the jet shot for obvious reasons. I think you can get it again later if you do miss it. But not until much later. So, it makes sense to get it here and now really, doesn't it? I mean, who's just left their blitz ball right there in the centre of the deck where anyone could trip over it? It's a bit rude, really. Uh, can I skip the cutscene? Yes. I think. No. Yeah, good point, Peter. If I mess up this time, I will try that again. Steps, are you? I usually charge for lessons, you know. That shot is done like this. Okay, I just saw the message about spamming the X button. And then uh, using the directions, I'll try that. R1, R2, R1, R2 options, and gamepad for soft reset. Oh, cheers, Adrian. Yeah, the Alien films. Well, the first two Alien films are my favourite. Alien 3, I appreciated a lot more than a lot of people did. And Alien Resurrection was absolute tripe, I've got to be honest with you. It's more of a parody of the Alien films rather than a true Alien film, I thought. And then Aliens vs Predator, uh, I thought was a bit rubbish as well, to tell you the truth. Yeah, Square work hard on the cutscenes. They're like, you are going to watch it no matter what. 
ba -ba 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 -ba. Just go through this. Right, here we go. I can't see any prompts on the screen. Guys, there is something wrong there. There's literally nothing on the screen. And I'm looking at the screen without a chat window or anything. Told you. I actually think it's bugged. I actually think this is bugged. There is nothing appearing on the screen. And I know you guys have got the chat window. I haven't got that. I've just got a complete, uh, you know, no overlay at all across the game. And nothing popped up like it did before when we were practicing. <laughs> I'm just going to check briefly. Uh, let me just bring my computer monitor back up. I'm just going to check briefly on Google if this is bugged. Because that was not right at all. And if it is bugged, if there's anything we can do. <laughs> Button prompts a DLC. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> Jacked shot. Uh. Let's have a look. Is the jet shot challenge bugged? Hmm. I'll try it again, guys. I don't know what else to suggest, to be honest with you. I was trying to do the soft reset. I think I must have pushed the wrong button there. Oh, it kind of worked. Just means we're going to have to watch this cutscene again. This is really strange though. I'm not getting this at all. Just gonna continue looking through Google, I think. See if uh, you guys can see anything, maybe, because I'm trying to uh, sort the game out as well as reading it. Ah, Billings. Got it. I feel like an idiot now. Just focus on where the text is. Got it. Brilliant. <laughs> I'm kind of reading chat, reading Google, and trying to uh, play at the same time. No, it's not bugged. It's just me being an absolute moron. Oh, I am still going to bring it up on my main monitor here, though, so I can uh, see it without the dialogue, the overlay of the chat and stuff. I feel like such a... Oh, I'll just say an idiot. Yay, still non-skippable cutscenes. Footsteps, are you? Thanks, Hulkaroni. I think I've got it now, though. For lessons, you know. that I think, anyway. We'll see. <laughs> Somebody mentioned this way you can just spam the X button, so you only have to hit the directions then as the text appears. 
You can't do it, kid. But See you later, Chocobo. Thanks for stopping by today. You're not the only one. No one else can do it. I'm the best. Yeah, I saw a video actually quite recently about all the cinematography involved uh, in uh, the first Predator film. And so much attention to detail was put into that movie that you just don't notice it as you watch it. But the camera angles and just everything, the way it all works together, it, it was just really incredible how they made that film. Just get through this. Yep, yeah. right, here we go then, guys. Did we do it? Yeah, I think we got it this time. I think we got it. Oh, man. The best. Yeah, right. Whoa, what's that called? Doesn't have a name. Anyone can do it if they try. Show us one more time, yeah? Thank you, Abhijit. Yeah, thanks, everyone. You'll have to excuse my uh, moronic uh, gameplay before that point, though. <laughs> Literally, it has been a few years, few years since I played this game. And because of, you know, chatting to you guys and that, I wasn't really concentrating on what it was actually telling me to do. So... That was the jack shot, wasn't it? Yeah, Prometheus and Alien Covenant were pretty good, I thought, Elias. They got a lot more slack you know that. than uh, I would have given them. Sir Jack showed it to me when I was a child. But I would like, I think, a true Alien sequel. They called it the sublimely magnificent Jack Shot. But not a self-parody, which is pretty much what Alien Resurrection was. Huh. Stupid name, huh? You know what? There is no. Mark yeah, thanks, Mark Elias. Two, you know, my old man said the name Mark Three was just something to hook the crowd. He said they'd come back every night expecting to see Mark One and Mark Two, and they really did come back. I used to get so <laughs> mad. Is he alive, you think? I don't know. But Sir Jack was my father's guardian. So he's famous here, too? Yes. So if anything happened to him, I should think word would get around fast. Uh-huh. What would you do if you found him? Who knows? I thought he died ten years ago. Well... I'd probably just smack him one. After everything he put Mom and me through. And because he was famous, I was always... Well, you should know, Yuna. Hmm? Your father's famous too. Everyone in Spira knows him, right? Hmm. Oh, thank you, Elias. Are you tough. playing along with that one, are you, as well? It is or are you just watching the videos? In his footsteps as a summoner. Sure. But the honor of having a father like him surpasses all that, I think. Well, there wasn't much to honor about my old man, that's for sure. You shouldn't say that about your father. I got the right. Hmm. I guess you do. Ow! Show me that move again. Yo! I didn't think my old man would come to Luca. He never did like watching other people play. But I couldn't help feeling something... 
bad was gonna happen. And these feelings of mine are usually right. Sure, I had told Waka I'd help him win Well, that's very kind of you then, Elias. Uh, Thank you. I wasn't sure I had it in me to play at all <laughs> anymore. Oh, Tita sounds like I sound when I sleep. That Blitzball game is getting ever so close now. I call 100. Thanks for subscribing on YouTube. Moving right along, our next team is. Here they are, folks. Our very own Luca Goers. They've got power, they've got speed, they've got teamwork. They're an all round first class team, and they're back home in Luca. Without a doubt, they are the favorite this year, Baba. And after the way they dominated last year, it'd take a miracle for them to lose today. You can say that again, Jenna. Look at the crowd, folks. Look at the crowd. Uh, the latest Jurassic World film, as in the one that came out a couple of years ago. I thought it was a bit meh, to be honest with you, Elias. I mean, it was fun, and my kids loved it. But it wasn't really, <laughs> you know, the most uh, thought-provoking movie of all time. Hey, Peter, thanks for subscribing as well on YouTube. But it was a bit of fun. And, you know, I expect the same thing out of the sequel. I'm looking forward to, I think it's Jurassic World Evolution by the guys at Frontier that made Planet Coaster. Uh, it's kind of a successor in a spiritual sense, at least, to Operation Genesis. And I know a lot of people are looking forward to that as well. <laughs> I bet a lot of Blitzball players just pee in the water, don't they? Try and put their opponents off. As long as they're only peeing. We sure stood out, though. We were on the sphere. We were. Maester Micah is here. Already? The number three dot. What's up now? Maester Micah has arrived. That's what. Micah? Maester? I think it's called Jurassic World Maester Fallen Micah Kingdom, Elias, the new movie. Of peoples of Spira. He's come all the way from Bavel. The tournament is being held to honor his 50 years as Maester. 50 years? Shouldn't he be, uh, retired by now? Hey, mind your mouth now. Let's yeah. see him. Very cocky. He just knows it all, I'm sure, doesn't he? Right, we're going to use the save point. Right, guys, I am actually going to have to take a break, unfortunately. Uh, we'll have to do the blitz ball in the next live stream because uh, it's now 20 to 4 here in the UK. And I do have to try and get some semblance of work done 
uh, for the rest of the afternoon. So thanks for stopping by to the stream, guys. Uh, next time, then, we've got a boss fight. The Obliterator. Kind of fly mechanical thing. Uh, and then the Blitzball match as well. So whether we'll win it or not, who knows. But it's not really the end of the world if you don't. Because you get a trophy for winning a Blitzball match even later on. So you don't have to win the first one. And all you get for winning, I think, is a strength sphere or a sphere of some kind. Uh, but yeah, it'd be nice to get. But it's a very hard match, so I'm not going to count on it. We'll see what happens. <laughs> good old cappuccino. <laughs> yes, thank you, Byra. You too, dude. Have a good one. Yeah, goodbye, everyone. Thanks for stopping by today. Yeah, you're welcome, Elias and Nicole. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thunder King, Hulk Corona, Abhijit. It's been great chatting to you all. Uh, what day are we? Thursday. I should be back either tomorrow or Saturday as well. So if you guys can make it to another live stream this week, then well, that'll be fun as well. But uh, there's a couple of games I want to check out. There is Vamp Vampire or Vampire or something that Elias linked me. And there is... What was the other game that somebody mentioned earlier? Oki or Aki or something. It's one that I've seen before. And The Forest. I need to check that out. But... Lots of stuff to get through anyway. Yeah, see you later, David. Thanks for joining us today, guys. It's been great to catch up with many of you. And hopefully see you all again soon as we continue on with Final Fantasy X. Right, finishing the stream now. Take care.